بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد I'd like to share a story with everyone a story that really touched my heart many years ago when I learned of it and when I read it this story is collected by Imam al-Bukhari رحمه الله in his book Al-Adab al-Mufrad this is a story about the importance of the words of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam to the companions. Just how, what, what kind of esteem the companions held the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam's words, his breaths, anything that he said, they would take it and, 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 and hold on to it and implement it. But I also want to share this story because in it is an indication of what should be important and what our priorities in this life should be. It's a story about Jabir radiallahu anhu, the companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the son of the companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, that he had heard a narration, but he couldn't find anyone in Medina who had heard it directly from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He knew the narration. He just wanted to get as close in narration to the Prophet Wasallam as possible. So he was told that one of the companions, Abdullah ibn Unais anhu, was living in Asham. Asham is Syria and, and, and those areas. It's about a month's travel at that time. And so Jabir anhu, he said, I bought myself a riding animal. I packed my belongings and prepared myself for journey, and I went to a Shem. I met there Abdullah ibn Unais just to hear that narration from him. But here's the key. He said, I was afraid that I would die before having heard this narration from him. Just think about that for a minute. This is the priorities that the companions had. I am afraid that I will die not having this knowledge when I go and stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so, when a person dies, what does he take with him, really? If you want to know what you're going to take with you when you die, look at what you take with you when you go to sleep. The only thing you have that you will take with you is your knowledge, your understanding of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His names and attributes, your beliefs, your past, your deeds, your relationship with Allah. This is the only thing you will take with you. And this is what grows and matures your soul, even as your body decays. And so, every Tuesday, Tuesday evening from 6 to 7 here at the Mosque Foundation, I myself... We have a live streaming class in the English language in which we go through a book called Zad al-Ma'ad, Provisions for the Day of the Great Appointment, the Day of Resurrection, authored by the great and esteemed scholar of Islam, Shaykh al-Islam, Shams al-Din ibn Qayyim al-Jawziyya, rahimahullah. This book deals with every aspect of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sunnah. How he spoke, how he sat, what he said how he viewed the world, his biography, how he walked, his wives, his companions, how he dealt with people. And so every week we sit for that hour from 6 to 7 and we spend that time with the Prophet wasallam. We acquaint ourselves with him. We learn who he is. And that is what true love is. True love of the Prophet wasallam is not to be expressed in superficial ways. I love him, I, I, I enjoy him, or to wear a shirt with, or to sing a song. This is not how the companions and how Allah taught us to uh, celebrate the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِ يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهِ Say, if you truly love Allah, then follow me and Allah in return will love you. This is how we truly express our love for him. And you can only love him if you know who he really is. And this is what we deal with every Tuesday. The knowledge is free. 
You don't have to travel a month going and a month coming. You don't have to do anything but go on to the live stream on Facebook and listen to an in-depth explanation of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's legacy, free of charge. Just come with an open heart and an open mind. We invite everyone to join us on that night. It's very special to us all, and it's a book dear to my heart that I have spent many years with, and I'd love to share it with you all. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.